guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you're about to see. with me. Um, if you are new here and you enjoy budgeting videos that go over paychecks and savings goals and sinking funds and cash stuffing and all that great stuff, um, this may be a channel that you enjoy. And um, if you are somebody who tunes in for each video, thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. So this is one of the last videos that I will be promoting my free June budget kit. Um, and definitely you want to get your hands on that if you're looking for something to organize you as far as worksheets or a calendar goes, because these worksheets are not dated. So you can use these for any month during the year. It is a download, so you do need to print it. Um, but if you are interested in printing it, <clears throat> letter size or happy planner big size you can print it as is double-sided or if you are interested in printing it happy planner classic size you can always check out my etsy shop because all my listings give you instructions on how to resize so this is money left over from our pays this week so we are going to be using this to go toward kind of a, a larger purchase so I'll just explain to you guys what that means but recently you saw me unstuff my cash envelopes as far as our sinking funds go and what I did I just went ahead and made some envelopes that just show the denominations of bills and I'm going to be using this to pull from as I go either spending or reallocating this money into different groupings. So I'm still saving. I'm not getting rid of this money. Um, a little bit of it I am <laughs> for today, but for the most part, this is still my savings. It's just lumped all together rather than allocated in different, um, different focuses. Like I used to have one for home renovation. I had a sinking fund that said Black Friday, all kinds of things. I'm still on board with those. I just need to get a few things done before I re-energize these funds. So I just needed to do this first just to kind of get my mind around things and where I'm at mid-year and um, also because we do have a big purchase. So I do have $875 here, I believe, and I'll show you on my worksheets what that is for finally. And then before I file this away in my budget binder, I'm going to be, or my budget planner, I'm going to be rewriting this out. I whited out some things down here, and sometimes you know how that gets like, um, it kind of raises, and then it's hard to write over, and it looks messy in general. And um, I'm going to rewrite this. There's something on my desk too. Oh, I'm a mess. Okay. So for savings, we had $180 toward our recent savings challenge. So we do that once a month. That's the $2,382 savings challenge. Um, this was the income for this past week, $810 in variable expenses. So I just pulled every all these numbers down here as well because this is the receipt area of my budget worksheet. And here I'm going to be putting renovation. I'm just going to shorten it and call it Renos. And I'm going to be subtracting, let's see, the cost for what we're doing is $15.25. So $15.25 minus $8.75. No, that's not right. $15.25 minus $8.75 is $6.50. So I need to take out $650 from my sinking funds. And I am going to keep... Um, tracking it by putting a name to it because when I restart these sinking funds, I just want to make sure where any money came from so I don't shortchange the wrong fund. All right, so this is my paycheck money. So I got this out. Now, as you can see, I rounded up, but I'll show you guys how this worked out. So we had 22.62 and 39 cents in income. So I just ordered a new calculator that hopefully is um, more visible, easily visible. Minus 810 for variables left us 1452.39. Minus 180 for the savings challenge left us 1272.39. And then minus 400 for our water bill. All right, so I don't have that marked down. And that is an unusual water bill because we had to fill up our pool for the first time. 
So I had to allocate enough money to cover that. So that left us eight seventy two thirty nine. So what I did is I just rounded this up and I took eight hundred and seventy five from my my checking account because we do always have extra money in there, and I didn't want to you know, get down to the pennies and the decimals and all that. So we should have 875 here. We'll go ahead and count that together. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 850, 870, 875. All right, so we have that. Now what we need to do is take out, so the charge is 1525 minus 875. Again, 650 from these funds. So let's see, do I wanna use, we'll use a couple of these. And then what this is for, before I forget, um, this is actually for a landscaping project in our backyard. And what it involves is removing the dirt from the excavating of the for the pool. So the company that installed the pool, I think they outsource, or I mean, I, I'm guessing that they do. So 51, 52, 53, 51, 52, 53. So I, I guess what they do is they outsource the installation part of it. And that company comes and they excavate and they make sure that the ground is nice and even because it's an above ground pool. And they put all the excess dirt from digging up and kind of um, flattening out that area. Um, they put it all in the corner of the yard. So it left us with this massive dirt pile, dirt and grass. It just looks horrible. And my husband could get a wheelbarrow and you know, move it and fill in around the pool again. But honestly, he works almost six days a week, usually. And um, it's just too much. It's just too much work. So we have somebody come out and what they're going to do, this is crazy for 1525. You guys have to let me know what you think. They are going to take that huge mound of dirt. They're going to fill in around the pool. They're going to plant grass seed. They're going to plant plants that won't be damaged if they get splashed with like chlorinated water. So they're thinking ahead that, and they think they're gonna use a mix of hostas and some other kind of decorative grasses. So they're gonna do that all around the pool. And the pool is 24 feet, so it's a lot of plants. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna um, do a new plant bed that's the entire length of our deck, which is almost 30 feet long. And cause it goes the, the majority of the length of the back of our house. And so they're gonna put an entire um, plant bed there and then they're going to redo, um, they're gonna pull some bushes. I think there's three bushes they're gonna pull and they're gonna redo the bed over there and put some plants there. And then the excess dirt that we have, they're just gonna remove it. So for $1,525, I think that is a heck of a lot of work and labor and everything. So I'm really happy with it. So we do need to um, plan to pay them. I'm not sure if they're gonna take cash or how they're gonna do it, but we need to um, have it ready. I think they're coming next Saturday. All right, so we need 1525. So we have 100, 2, 3, 354, 455, 556, 657, 758, 859, 950, 1000, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 5, 2525. Okay, so $1525. Okay, so that is going to clean up our backyard, save my husband some serious labor because it's too much for one person. And honestly, he just doesn't have the time. He works until between six and seven at night. And by the time that we get home, it's just it's just too much. So usually we don't pay people to do stuff like this. So I guess that's why I keep talking about it. And I'm not really trying to justify it, but maybe a little bit I am in my head. Um, I just think that, you know, when you know it's something that that is possible that you can do, but you're paying somebody to do it, sometimes I feel a little bit guilty about that. But at the same time, sometimes, you know, having somebody else do some work is necessary. Um, for various reasons. So um, could be health, could be time, could be a lot of things. 
All right, so I'm just writing landscaping there for 1525, and then I'm gonna reorganize this page, rewrite everything, and here's our payment for them. So I'm very happy with this and very excited moving forward. And I can close up this for now, and we'll do some cash stuffing and reorganization of this money um, maybe later in the week. Uh, because I do need to have a plan because when I don't have a plan, I get very nervous and I get nervous that, I don't know, I, not that I'm going to spend this money or something's going to like suddenly uh, all my goals and in my savings are just going to go out the window, but I just don't like having an allocation for any money that I have lying around. I like it to have a purpose. So I need to do that this week, but I also have to come back and do one or two subsequent videos on my fixed expenses. So we're nearing like the last third of the month of July. And this is all the money that I have so far for my August bills. And I need to stuff it with the rest. So we do, I have another paycheck coming up and um, my husband does as well. So we're going to put the rest of the money in there. And yeah, get that taken care of. Now that paycheck doesn't come until like the last day of the month. So what I could do is I could borrow the money from my sinking funds and then just put it back in there once I get paid. But I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. It depends. So this is my fixed expenses. These are household bills. So that's what this is for. All right, so we are all done here. Got our money ready to go. I'm very excited. I can't wait to see the yard once it's all done and put back together. It is a raging mess at the moment. But um, yeah, I think it's gonna be nice once it's all complete. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you for tuning in, leaving me nice comments and always just interacting with me. Um, and I hope that you guys are having a great week or I hope that your week is gonna be off to a great start. And as always, I hope I see you guys in my next video. Take care.